Hi everybody, welcome back to Songbird Kids. This is Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carl. Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Mrs. Seahorse began to wiggle and twist this way and that. Hmm, I wonder why. It's time for me to lay my eggs, she said. Can I help? asked Mr. Seahorse. Oh yes, thank you said Mrs. Seahorse, and she laid her eggs into a pouch on Mr. Seahorse's belly. I'll take good care of our eggs, said Mr. Seahorse. I promise. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a group of trumpet fish hidden in a patch of reeds. Four long trumpet fish. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Stickleback? asked Mr. Seahorse. Delighted, replied Mr. Stickleback. I've just built a nest and right away Mrs. Stickleback laid her eggs in it. Now I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. Keep up the good work, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. Look at all of the colours of these fish. Wow. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by. Hmm, what could it be? A lionfish hidden behind a coral reef. A very stripy lionfish. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Tilapia? asked Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Tilapia couldn't answer. His mouth was full of eggs. I know. I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Mrs. Tilapia has laid her eggs. Now you are taking good care of them until they hatch. Mr. Tilapia nodded his head. You must be very happy, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. Hmm, I wonder what'll happen next. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by several leaf fish hidden among the seaweed. Can you guess why they might be called leaf fish? But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Curtis? asked Mr. Seahorse. Perfectly fine, replied Mr. Curtis. Mrs. Curtis has laid her eggs and I have stuck them on my head. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You are doing a good job said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. I do like how Mr. Seahorse is upside down in this one. <laughs> As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a stonefish hidden behind a rock. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Pipe? asked Mr. Seahorse. Couldn't be better, replied Mr. Pipe. Mrs. Pipe has laid her eggs along my belly. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You should feel proud of yourself, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Bullhead? asked Mr. Seahorse. Tip top replied Mr. Bullhead. Mrs. Bullhead laid her eggs, the eggs hatched, now I'm babysitting. You are doing a great job, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. So many fish, is it Mr. Seahorse's turn? The time had come for the seahorse babies to be born. Mr. Seahorse wiggled and twisted this way and that, at last, the babies tumbled out of Mr. Seahorse's pouch and swam away. One baby turned around and tried to get back into the pouch. Oh no, said Mr. Seahorse. I do love you, but now you are ready to be on your own. And that's the end of the story. Remember to stick around for the comprehension and reflection questions. And I'll see you next time. Bye.